In this video, I'm gonna talk all about the Google search term report and why it's useful. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial here. Um, when you go ahead and log into Google Ads, um, on the left side, there's gonna be a insights and reports tab on that um, left column, and then you'll go to search terms. So this is your search terms report. Um, and essentially what the search terms report is, is it's a report that allows you to see what search terms are triggering your ads. So these are different from keywords. Keywords are specific keywords that you chose um, to put into Google so that you're telling Google what keywords you want to show up for. Search terms is how the user actually searched to trigger your ads. Um, so the search term might not necessarily match directly with the keyword that you chose and we'll be able to look at some of that information within the search term report so you can see. Um, but essentially what you'll want to do is go to the search term report and then toggle and choose a specific time frame that you want to see. After you choose the time frame, you're going to be able to see all the search terms um, during that time period and you can open it up up to 500 search terms per uh, per section that you can actually see and then you could sort it by clicks impressions and you can pull in specific metrics so that you could see the performance of these search terms um, on your campaign um, so then something else that you'll want to see is you could see the specific match type what match type matched to this search term you'll be able to see what keyword and ad group triggered it and then something else that you could also do too is you could see what specific keyword triggered that so just like I mentioned, the keyword might not actually match with the search term. Um, so you'll see how it matched here specifically. So in this case, someone typed in hospice care, but then it matched up to hospice care services in exact match. Um, so it is a close variant. It's not exact, exact, but it is a close variant of the exact. Um, so you'll be able to see how close your specific um, keywords are matching to your search terms and whether they're even useful. Now, let's say that you are offering hospice services, but then you want to block out anyone searching for four levels of hospice care, Medicare. Um, let's see. Actually, let's just say that you want to block out in, uh, let's see. Let me find one that's relevant. Oh, amenity hospice care. I already blocked it out. Um, so you can see that this was added as a negative keyword. Essentially what this will allow us to do is um, two things. Uh, with a search term report, you can add new keywords based off of what you're seeing that you don't already have. Or uh, the most common uh, thing is using it to add negative keywords. So as you can see, amenity hospice care, this is a competitor we don't want to be matching to competitors, so therefore we can add it as a negative keyword. And then once you do that, then it will show as excluded. Um, but if you wanted to add, let's say, free hospice care near me, because you don't have that in your keyword build, you can just select that and you can add as the keyword. But if you wanted to block it, you would add it as a negative keyword. Um, so that's essentially how you would go about best using it. Um, one big thing that I wanted to call out when it comes to the search terms report is you will not have access to all the data for every single keyword search. Unfortunately, over the past several years, Google has pulled back a lot on uh, providing this data due to privacy reasons, so you won't be able to see every single search term that triggered um, an ad. Unfortunately, I wish Google would bring it back um, but before it was a lot more strict and Google started bringing it back a little more because a lot of people were complaining. What I mean by that is that we have, I'm going to pull this down here. Over the lifetime of this campaign, we spent 12000 close to $13,000, but we're only able to see close to $7,000 worth of search terms that's a huge loss in terms of what we can't see so there's five thousand dollars worth of search terms and money that we spent on the campaign let's just call this like half um, I know it's a little bit less than half um, but I'm just gonna say that 
you're pre- you're losing like half of your data um and in other campaigns that i've ran i've seen it as bad as like 60 to 70 percent of lost data so unfortunately things that fall under the other category unfortunately there's not enough people in this bucket to show the information because google's trying to protect their identity so unfortunately we were not able to see what clicks and what search terms out of these 758 clicks actually triggered. So we will not be able to add negative keywords based off of this data. It's a huge loss. Um, But unfortunately, there's no real way to get it. Before, there used to be a way to get it in Google Analytics. But now, unfortunately, we won't be able to see that. So just wanted to call that out just so that you're aware you won't be able to see everything, but you'll still be able to see something. Um, Unfortunately, they're showing you search terms for um, searches that only have like one impression. That doesn't really do anything for us really, Um, but it can also help like if you're running a brand new campaign and you don't really know the industry that well, at least you'll see if you're matching to anything that's completely irrelevant, you can go ahead and block them out. So that's really it in terms of the search terms report in a nutshell. Um, And for this Google Ads Basics series, I just wanted to share exactly how I use it to my advantage um, and uh, how you can use it to your advantage as well. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to this channel. I love to have your support um, as I continue to release more videos. And if you're looking for a Google Ads consultant or expert to help manage your Google Ads campaign, I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you and you can book a discovery call below. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video.